Hi, I'm Graham from Workmaster. Today we're going to show you how to grind and polish a concrete floor using our scarum. First, we need to remove the paint from this concrete floor. To do that, we will use our 16 grit TurboShark tools. Simply fit the TurboShark plates with the yellow compression foams into the grommets on the scarab. Next, position the dust skirt so that there is approximately 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters off the ground. Make sure your vacuum hose is connected to the scarab. Set the speed on your variable speed polisher. Always start at a low speed and gradually increase the RPM as required. Keep the scarab in motion to avoid putting tool marks in the floor. Use the scarab to get to within 1 8 of an inch to the wall. Continue grinding until all the paint and contamination is removed and you have reached the desired level of aggregate exposure. You can now change over to the 3040 grit teardrop tooling. Once the floor has been evenly ground, move on to the 7080 teardrop tooling. Now you're ready to do any cosmetic repairs to the concrete. Remove any loose material and vacuum thoroughly. Fill the holes and cracks with an approved patching compound. Keep in mind deep holes may need more than one application of patching compound. When the patching compound is dry, remove any excess with the same 70-80 grit teardrop tooling. Now you're ready to use your transitional tooling. In this case, we're using the 100 grit acromic tooling. Use the foam velcro adapter plates with the yellow compression foam, then attach the acromic tools. You'll need to adjust the height of the dust skirt again to ensure you're 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters off the floor. When all the scratches from the metal bond tooling have been removed, you're ready to move on to the next step, densification. Vacuum the floor thoroughly before you apply the densifier. We're using Workmaster's ultra-hard lithium silicate densifier. Use a pump sprayer to dampen the microfiber applicator and to spray the ultra-hard densifier onto the floor. Apply enough densifier to fill the pores of the concrete to rejection. Work the densifier into the floor and make sure there are no puddles. The floor should stay looking wet for about 5 minutes. Now that the floor has been densified, we're ready to move on to our polishing resins. We're starting with 200 grit. For best results, thoroughly refine the floor with the polishing resins. Follow the same process of refining the floor with the 400, 800, 1500, and 3000 grit resins. Once the level of polish has been achieved, thoroughly vacuum the floor before you apply the guard. Take a clean microfiber applicator and apply a small amount of UltraGuard to it and a light coat on the floor. Allow to dry for a minimum of 45 minutes. If you're burnishing between coats, use a pink burnishing pad. Apply a second coat of UltraGuard and allow it to dry. Burnish with a pink pad. Thanks for watching. For more information on our Workmaster systems and solutions, please visit our website.